almost as good as washing up tucks. I'm sure it's not quite as good <laughs> as your washing up, but uh, at least I'm slowly getting you interested, my friend. <laughs> oh, God. Cute name. Oh, interesting. You need a catchphrase when you're sharpening a knife like Bob Ross has. Beat the devil out of it. If you beat the devil out your knife, you end up cutting yourself, probably, but uh, maybe I should. You know, who knows? We'll see. So, I'm just going to cut the shallots straight down. Watch your fingers, guys. Honestly, so long ways, long ways that way as well. So, and then just dice them up. Give it a re-chop if you're not happy with it. If you really want it fine, um, by all means you can. Um, you know, it's entirely up to you what you want to do. <laughs> M says hello. Wait, what? It's live. It certainly is, my friend. How are you doing? How are you doing? Thank you so much for coming back. I know you're waiting for this package to come. I will definitely show you. If it comes today, I will definitely show you live on stream. I'm back again tomorrow anyway. Sunday tomorrow, so post doesn't come tomorrow. Um, which will probably come Monday, which I'm live. If it doesn't come Monday, then uh, definitely will be on my day off. And if not, I'll post up pictures on Instagram regardless. I'll be posting up pictures regardless when it comes. As I said, M says hello. Thank you so much for that, that blender. It's, it's phenomenally kind of you, my friend to buy me such an expensive piece of equipment like that. It's, it's phenomenal. It really is. I'm, I'm still stoked about it. I'm still like in shock slightly. Um, thank you so much again, my friend. How are you doing today? Welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing good. Oh my God. Yeah, see, I did say, some, this Josh said to me yesterday, or somebody said to me, he said, Chef, don't you ever cry for minions? I'm like, no, I'm fine. And this one's quite a strong one. So I got a little bit teary. It might be from the uh, lovely thoughts from MC. Hello, maybe I'm getting a bit teary. Was that a notification? Mm, which notification was that, my friend? What did I miss? Did I miss something? Did I miss something? What did I miss? Um, sharpening the heck out of it. I love it, sweet joke. Amazing. Hello, Chef. Hello, King Ned. How are you doing, my friend? It's good to see you again. Oh, yeah, I forgot it was St. Patrick's Day yesterday. It was, buddy. Um, we did a nice... Um, what did we do yesterday? We did um, Waldorf salad, which is not really St. Patrick's Day, but I wanted to do it anyway. Uh, we didn't use blue cheese, we used this feta, and we also did um, more of a St. Patrick's dish, which was um, shepherd's pie, which we basically did a little bit crazy. Um, I made the shepherd's pie in little phyllo uh, little tarts, which I've made three of them, one small, one medium, one large. Made some artichoke and potato mash. Oh wow, I don't want to put that in there. Oh my god, what have I done? Don't put that in the spinach, seriously. I thought that was my waste bowl, it's not my waste bowls in front of me. Um, yeah, it was a really delicious dish. I really enjoyed it yesterday. Hope you guys did too. If you guys want to check out the pictures, it's on Instagram, it's on my website. Go have a little ganders. If you're on my Discord, it's on my Discord server as well. Pictures of the stream. So feel free to join. That's free to join as well if you want to. It's all cool. If you don't, Just peeking in and at work. <laughs> that is cool. No problem, MC Solo. How did you get started with cooking, if I may ask? I started my cooking career 13 years ago when I was about 16. I'm almost 29. I'm not quite 29 yet. Um, yeah, when I was about 15, 16, I started cooking. Uh, started off as a little pot wash, to be, to be honest with you. Um, and then went to college and that. I, I, I spent a lot of time working out what I wanted to do. Um, when I was in college, when I passed all my courses, I still wasn't 100% if I wanted to be a chef or not. It did take me a few years, to be honest with you, to actually find my love, my passion for what I do. Um, it did take me a while, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I wanted to branch, branch off into other things. I did love pastry. I, want, I was thinking maybe I wanna be a baker, but I didn't. Um, I met somebody who got me very passionate into fine dining and Michelin star food and uh, rosette food um, and then I just progressed my career from there and uh, yeah, worked for some high-end people, Work, uh, cooked for quite a few celebrities. Really enjoyed my career so far, it's not going to end, it's only going to go get better so um, you know, 
Streaming is part of what I want to do. It's not going to be the final product though. Um, I've got some very big ambitions I want to do. Um, I'm, got, I'm going to have my own book eventually, um, which I'm in the current process of making. I've also entered some competitions which I want to do on live TV. Um, I also want to get my name out there and eventually I want to open my own school um, so you guys can come and I can come and teach you about my alternative cooking, which will be fantastic. So I've got some very big ambitions. It's going to take time for me to get there, but I will get there one way or another. Shepherd's pie is so good. It was very tasty. I'm really happy with that dish yesterday. It was absolutely delicious. And in artichoke to mashed potato. Never thought of that. Yeah, it's really good. Um, it just gets, adds another another flavour, another um, level to uh, to the mash. I don't just like using mashed potato because number one, it's too too starchy sometimes, and I'm not a big fan of sweet potatoes. I don't mind them. Sweet potatoes are nice, but um, you know sometimes I like to change it a little bit. Celeriac is also a great one to put with mash as well. Uh, it's a fantastic way to do it. Um, cooking them with almond milk makes it helps make it creamy. The unsweetened, unroasted almond milk. Uh, they can be very delicious as well. Uh, King Ned, thank you so much for the follow, my friend. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome to the channel. Uh, Tuesday, I tweeted the little ship diagram. Oh, thank you so much. So Tuesday, I will, I will try. No, not I will try. I will get a post up uh, on Tuesday. I might, I might be out doing my shopping, but um, it won't be a problem. I'll make sure my neighbour either picks it up, and so when I get home, I'll come and get a post up. And um, thank you so much for that MC hello. It means so much for me. Uh, you're gonna go far, mate. I feel it keep. Sorry, I can't read it. You're gonna go far, mate. I feel it keep it up. Your great job. Thank you so much, King Ned. Thank you for the comments, my friend. Um, you know, I love what I'm doing at the moment. I love my streaming. This is all new to me. As I said, this is on, on to my ninth week. I think something like that. Um, yeah, it's really, really good. I'm getting you guys passionate about food as well is another one of my things I want to do. And, you know, kind of helping you guys look after yourself as well. You don't have to eat unhealthily. Health. Whoa, hey, up. Sorry, guys, I need dropped all the pans in there. There we go. Um, yeah, eating healthy food does not have to be disgusting. You don't have to put your nose up at it. Um, it's just these little steps of reducing the saturated fat levels and reducing these sugar levels is actually doable. And there are alternatives out there which you probably never think of. Um, it's fantastic. And I've been making these dishes on my stream to help you guys with that, which should be good. I suck as a baker, forgot the eggs for cookies and a couple of days ago. It's all a learning curve working chef. You know, um, I'm always, I'm still learning with certain things. I'm doing some like uh, Korean dishes or, or Asian dishes that I've never done before. I ain't even done sushi before. That's 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 how uh, how much it is. Um, I'm going to be doing sushi at some point. Um, you know, I, I will learn. I'm always learning. I'm always trying new things. I'm trying new ways. It's like this um, berry curd. I made my own healthy berry curd, which has got no butter and no no barely any sugar in it. And it's a recipe of my own. It's, I've never got it. I've just trial and error. And literally, if it, if it messes up, it messes up. I don't really care. But, um, you know, so far, it's been good. And I've got some fantastic recipes of my own, which I've been trial and error. This is kind of like an experiment stream, if that makes sense. So all my experiment stuff that I've tried on the stream is what I do. And then when it comes to my recipes, I adjust them. So then they, they actually kind of work, if that makes sense. So this is kind of like an experiment kind of stream when I'm doing these dishes, so. And so far, it's been good. I haven't really done such a mess, but we've had a few funny uh, mess ups, but they're all happy mistakes, as we all say. Your neighbor will hold a quick eBay auction. <laughs> no, she's an elderly old lady. She's so lovely. Um, she usually picks up parcels and stuff for us um, without even us asking. It's really, really nice of us, so it shouldn't be a problem. She hasn't got the internet anyway, so I wouldn't worry. Caught it before I baked them because it looked oatmeal crumble. That's awesome. You did it like a, um, uh, I missed it. It was like a, what were you doing? We doing like a granola thing the other day. I didn't, I didn't see the dish. What were you making, my friend? I uh, couldn't mind. Just kidding. I know. It, it would be funny though. <laughs> making a killing in an old lady next door. Selling all, all my stuff. It's a lot easier to eat healthy when you can buy your own food. 8% of my diet is carbs and pork fat, all part of living in the southern US. It, it, I mean, yeah, it is tempted to when you've got those foods put in front of you. It is hard. Um, 
you know, it, it, it's definitely difficult when you've got foods like that out in the US. And, you know, I've been out in December, I went to Salt Lake and I went to New Mexico and, you know, I really enjoy my time out there and I do like it. And yeah, there are a lot of temptations out there. I'm not going to lie. I was on holiday and I had a lot of those temptations. Don't, don't get me wrong. I, I like to indulge as well as you guys. Um, so yeah, it can be hard, but there are options if you look, guys, and it's all about your determination and your willingness and how much you want to do it. If you don't really care, that's fine. Everyone's got their own choices at the end of the day, but I'm just giving you guys this choice so you can actually do it. That's great experience stream. <laughs> Experiment stream, sorry. Thank you, uh, Working Chef. That was uh, honey and maple pecan, uh, pumpkin, sorry, seed granola. That sounds really good. I really want to do some kind of like a granola breakfast dish. I did say to the, the guys that they were like, can we have a breakfast dish or something? I've done a lot of breakfast dish the last couple of weeks, a couple of weeks ago, but I want to do something with a, a healthier version of some kind of fruit and granola or my own kind of thing. But I haven't decided yet what I want to do with it yet, but I'll think of something, you know, whichever it may be. So guys, I'm just going to sweat off the garlic and onions um, in the pan without burning them. If they do, oh well, you know, these things happen. <laughs> So, uh, what we're going to do, wooden spoon, give them a good stir. I'm going to add the spinach as well to it. We've given the spinach a wash this morning, which is fine. Um, just always give them a quick wash and then let them dry, guys. It's always worth doing that beforehand. Otherwise, you get all sorts of soils and things, and it can get a little bit gritty, gritty. So, um, you know, it should be fine, regardless. But it's always worth, worth washing your vegetables or salads, whatever it is. Turned it into a parfait. Oh, that's fantastic. That's really good. It's actually funny you should say that. I was actually thinking about making, um, before the guys get excited, I was actually thinking about doing a um, ice parfait for the summer, um, setting it with some yogurt, um, not using any uh, sugars or anything, but, um, oh, God, my eye. Um, but yeah, I was thinking about doing something like that, very similar, but um, slightly different, obviously my healthy version of it, um, without any sugars and stuff in there. I've, I've been kind of researching and figuring out a way of how to do a healthier parfait which doesn't involve any sugar or any kind of because usually when, I'm, when we make a parfait in work it's usually just basically uh, we cook down we make our parfait puree right and then we uh, whisk it on a high heat with some eggs and then we boil up some sugar to like a caramel or near enough a car caramel like kind of like a um, softball point I think it's like 120 is it 125 or 120 I can't remember the exact temperatures we bring the sugar up to that, and then you have it on the whisking machine. You whisk in the eggs and stuff, and your puree, um, and then you just pour it in. So you kind of make like um, a cooked out sabignon, and then you whisk it in. With, you fold it in with your puree, and then you fold it in with cream. Um, I'm thinking of a different way of doing it, which will help set it and make it nice and smooth in the um, in the freezer itself, so it doesn't go too hard. You know, it's very difficult to do that kind of thing. Um, Maybe I might do it as a one day kind of thing, so you can't really leave it in the freeze. You've got to have it as the one day. Um, we'll see. I haven't quite played around with it yet, but it's definitely something I want to work on for the summer. Lots of ideas for it. So I'm going to turn this down a little bit, guys, because I don't want this like going crazy. It should be hot enough to wilt that down, so I'm just going to pull it off from the side. It should start wilting down a little bit. Fruit and yogurt, that would be great to see. Yeah, I'm gonna try and work out a recipe. Um, I haven't worked one out yet, but uh, for sure, I will definitely figure something out which will lower the sugars and the saturated fats. And you know what I'm like, my, my kind of style of cooking, uh, but still making it look damn right sexy and damn right tasty as well. I'm not gonna lie. I